Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to BYT. Today, I'm going to get this tarp off, get the doors open, get the back of this bus ready for the deck. I hope you enjoy today's content. We'll see you shortly. All right, getting them ready to move the bus. Forgot I had these suckers underneath disconnected. So I got that taken care of. We got chain fall right there. Get this put in place, tacked in place right now. Just a couple spot welds there, there. I left this overlap just a hair. As you see, as it goes down, it gets bigger. And this is where the other deck plate is going to sit. So I measured here to here, equal on both sides. Measured here to here, equal distance, both sides. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to fire up the bus and get her parked in a non-sinking location. All right, there's the bus over there. And here we have rear deck hanging in place. So, moves nice and easy. So, Next is, we'll get that beast back in here and uh, I stopped this sucker from spinning. Yeah, did I mention I took the seat out? So I'm driving it, sitting on that flat plate right now. Yeehaw! Just check my tire locations. Yeah, I'm off a little bit. But I don't think it's going to hurt none. Alright, I'm going to get this sucker set down and we'll see what she looks like. Yeah. Got those to fill. Just to, you know, support these on the back. But other than that. It's always sitting on there. All by its lonesome. So... You know, it's got a little a little rock to it right now but that'll all be taken out I do have a curvature on the front I'm gonna have to heat that up and pound it down just to take that out of there but I'll figure that out too now who knows I might be able to pull the bolt back a little farther back this up a little bit more Use that beam up there with a jack and just push it down in place. So we shall see. But as of right now, deck is sitting on the bus. Well, there you have it. Spotted. Semi-stitched. It will be fully welded when it's done. But, you know, you, when you weld a spot, you weld a spot, pound down and weld a spot, pound it down, weld a spot. <laughs> All the way down. Next, I'll be going underneath, giving this stuff a chance to cool off. But yeah, that plate should transcend there, past this weld seam here, and I should be able to get a good solid straight weld all across this floor where you know, it's never been cut. So from that side to past it to this side, I should be able to put that other diamond plate patch in right along there so you know when I'm standing on the bus I'm, I'm actually downhill so when you look looks like the ass end is way high well it is it is way high because I am not level the front of the bus is low back of the bus is high so that's why you just gotta go off your measurements you know, you don't have to be on a level surface to build stuff. 
when I get this out flat on a flat surface that will be down and it will be flat so but I am I'm on it I'm standing on it I'm bouncing up and down so I'm happy happy said next is to get underneath start tacking that frame in I got it seat clamped in place oh I did I guess my seat clamp fell off yeah, it did there it is but my frames are touching so touching on all six well of course the front two are but yeah I'll even gotta go in the front and weld that one beam back to the floor as well so that will be next all right, hopefully we get the bumper on today. That'd be nice. We can start working on the lighting. Actually make this thing road legal. I gotta run the wiring from up there, down this pillar, come out underneath and come back to the bumper. Oh, this gonna be a, that's a lot of room under there to be putting storage boxes and stuff, so. Nice, nice. We'll see how that works. Okay, there you have it. Bracket, vertical welded, bolted. Got welds here. Vertical welded this plate in. Uh, I still have more to do at the top, but that's bolted in. Um, I got vertical weld started there. Interior weld there. Welds. I got a vertical weld started there. There. The other side is the same. Cross brace bolted in. Get out from underneath this sucker. Oh yeah. And then all the all the cross beams here are welded. I'll come back through. Still. I'll weld the top. Weld the top. Both sides. You know. Weld the top. Um. Here in the back, I may, I may be able to weld right there. Maybe straight across there. Well, well, that one's a little far away, but I could feel that. The bumper is not perfectly straight. It sticks out a little bit farther on that end than it does on this end. But it's nothing I can't live with. You know. I'm sure my, my bandsaw cuts where the brackets mount. And I could have, before I welded the bracket, I could have pulled the bumper out just a hair and clamped it. But you know what? All in all, this is the center of the deck. Here's my triangular bolt hole pattern right in the center. Of this one because you got to have your tow hitch in the center and I don't care you can have crooked bumpers and everything else you want your hitch still has to be straight so get good penetration so you know you get good penetration is when you heat through the other side I like what I'm seeing but it ain't going nowhere it's on there deck is on there I mean, I could put tail lights on this thing and drive it and be perfectly legal. You know, that bumper is is on there. I mean, it, it will protect whoever's in here. So, happy, happy. And this is just a little weird coincidence. This deck was made just a little bit narrower than the opening of the bus. I think they made it so it would slide inside. So when I put these pillars in, let me get this situated here. Sorry about my finger. When I get this pillar in here, I will run a piece angled across to it. So out this pillar that goes all the way up and around fills in all that all the way around. This will come across and attach to it and be welded solid 
Then, you know, I'll fill in. So I'm not taking these off. No need. Maybe paint, you know, I'll probably paint them a different color or whatever. But I'll fill these ends in just to keep water out. Just the same as this. Once I get this piece in here, this will be, you know, because these will, the sides will be screwed to the pillar. And I will fill in this whole back piece. I'll probably use a Bondo glass. It just, uh, I like the way it works. You know, sand it down, round it off. You know, because once I put this pillar in here, I'll be welding this to the pillar. I'll be welding this to the pillar. And then, of course, you know, I got to sand all this and seam it all and caulk it. But yeah, I'm uh, quite happy. This is a uh, man. This thing turned out to be better than I thought. So from that wall back to this gate, and I'm still determined on whether or not I'm gonna get this to where it stands upright. You know, I may fix this right here, so my gate, my gate will be upright. But I'm not sure. I think I think having it. With the weight leaning inward, as long as it doesn't hamper the room I need to get what I need in here. Um, you know, as long as I have room from this wall to here, I'll leave it alone. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So next thing, now that the deck's solid, I do have to put this floor strip and seam these two floors together. And then... Take that tubular steel right there and make my make my pillars out of it. Come up, frame this all in. So that's my next step. Seam the floor, make the frame. A lot easier to get to the top of the bus with the deck in place. It makes it so much nicer. See you in a minute. Alright, so here's where we're at. I got that piece in place. I gotta do that corner there that piece I got that piece it's not in place it's just sitting there it's not affixed permanently but you see what happened <coughs> when they cut that out in order for these to run straight up and down they have no bottom to sit on so I'll have to put a steel plate or something and fill in these corners here on both sides that way you know, because these runners here on the window are in place where they belong. So that part is straight. And you'll see when, when this gets, you know, pulled together, it'll get screwed in or welded. I'm probably going to end up welding it. Just because, you know, we weld it, sand it. Look up there. I see, I see some spots that I got to re-hit again. I'll sand them down but that's gonna be how it's gonna be it's gonna be square tubing all the way around connecting to this one I'll weld it here just like I did over here I did that on both sides and I welded it to the roof so this is all getting welded to this and then I'm you know when I squeeze this in here these may get welded as well. You know, I may squeeze this up in place after I get the, you know, I gotta get, cause it's, it, it's getting solid, but you know, I still don't have these corners. Uh, sorry about that. I still don't have these corners in, but it is getting, you know, pretty, pretty solid up there. So I will, I don't know how much further I'm gonna go today. I think I got quite a bit done today. Quite happy. A little ladder. And, you know, I was looking up here. Sorry about the sun. But this. All this sealant they had is pretty, pretty crap. And the same. I wonder if I can. Yeah. Alright, that'll be alright. Hold on. Oh, no, it won't be all right. Okay. We cannot. I cannot get up on this yet. 
That's why I need to put these in place. I just tried to climb up here, and that sank terribly. So, when I put the tarp back on, I will have to do it from the other ladder from that side and do not pass this seam here until I get this over here finished. Because I just, yeah, I just, I look, I don't know if you can see that, but I sank that whole roof. And I don't want to undo what I'm doing. Yeah, I guess I could put my braces in place. I guess I could put that in place right there. This other one. Oh, let me see. Yeah, see, I guess I could put the braces in place here and climb up there, but I don't need to. All I was going to show you is up front, way up there. You can see those two patches. I believe that's where I'm getting the leak at in the front of the bus when it rains. You know, they took they took one of these lights out, and then I believe there's a hole up there. Yeah, you know, I haven't been up on top of here inspected it much. You know, even that hatch kind of looks like it's warping right there. So. It kind of looks like it's doing one of these numbers. But, you know, I'm not getting no leaks in that area. So, I will have to, you know, I'll get a, I got a lot of cleaning to do on this thing before I can even paint the roof. You know, it's pretty, pretty dirty, pretty nasty. But, you know, the work comes first. Got to get this all sealed in and solid. Make it one piece before I can, uh, you know, even start thinking about painting or priming or water sealing because I, I have to remove this right, there's going to be holes uh, to fill in cover up, patch so yeah I think I'm done for the day let's talk to you in a minute and that leak coming from the front that I showed you there is a screw right there that is backed out and uh, that's where my leak was coming from it was coming from that bolt I pointed it out in an earlier video so I'm gonna have to go through and check these but all that's gonna be repainted and sealed so you know I will I will put a I'll, I'm gonna use a good paint when I do it so I wanna you know may not be the best you know you didn't like the mirrors we got some cracked mirrors here. There's one missing on that side. You know, can I do without those? Maybe. You know, those are basically so the drivers could see kids in front of the bus. Um, I don't plan on doing a whole lot of city driving. I have to get a window company out here to put this back in place. The rubber seal is come off of this and this part's come out a little bit as you can see it's come out of this but the windshield's got a nice little crack in it so I'm gonna have this windshield this side replaced and then all that rubber seals will get put back in and that up there is gonna be a special project you turn that knob and that knob and it folds down and says school bus. I'm going to remove school bus and I'm going to put something secret up in there. You'll have to stick with me with the videos to see what it's going to be. Alright everybody, I'm done for the day. I'm going to go in. There's that thing I was telling you about. It's going to be a secret. You have to keep with me on the videos to see what it's going to say up there. And you know, I got to get rid of these lights here. I have them disconnected, so they don't work anyways. Need to check all those running lights up there, see if they work. Um, you know, whatever you're doing out there, you be safe. You have yourselves a great day, and we will catch you tomorrow. And oh, if you like the content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, 
and leave a comment down below. You know, that thing down there says comment. Leave me one. Talk to you later.